Um, I think in lots of ways uh, whistleblowers are now seeing journalists much more positively because a lot of the whistleblowing stories are being uh, put out there and whistleblowers are not being trashed or being the focus of the story so much as in the past. But I think that one of the biggest things is journalists need to understand where whistleblowers are coming from and that will help them manage whistleblowers' uh, expectations. Um, one of the things is just to understand that for a whistleblower to have gone to the public and to because in a sense going to a journalist is going public, that that is actually the riskiest move that they've ever taken. There's usually a story and a journey that's happened before they've got there. So a journalist who acts like this is the first time it's ever been heard, the first time they've ever seen these things, they need to understand for the whistler it almost feels like an end of a journey. And the journalist understanding it's going to be the beginning of the next one and, and respecting the fact that the the whistler may be in a very difficult place means that taking a little bit more time with that relationship, being respectful, but not losing skepticism, but also not immediately putting the benefit of the doubt in the other camp, giving the time to go through it all and explaining, because a lot of whistleblowers will have gone through a discrediting process. So you as a, whist as a journalist need to understand that may have to be part of the story because the discrediting of the whistleblower may have been fairly systematic and look quite clear, but in fact is all part of trying to ensure that the journalist misses the real story. So I think if journalists start from that point of view, the building of trust will be much, much stronger. The other side of that is the other resources that are available to whistleblowers but also to journalists. So there is a group that I would call the whistleblower protection community. We're not that well known because we're not the story. It's the journalist's story and it's the whistleblower's story. But w many of the NGOs around the world that have been protecting, providing legal advice have also been dealing with how we get the public interest story out there because in the end the reason we want whistleblowers protected is because they're delivering this information to the public and the reason, so we work with the NGOs that are specifically issue oriented and a number of the organizations that are looking at whistleblowing, so aren't issue oriented but end up dealing with all those issues, um, a lot of them are found on the Whistleblowing International Network website, which is an attempt and it's still developing to build capacity around the world uh, in different jurisdictions of this kind of interface between the public interest and the whistleblower and can be an incredibly valuable resource for journalists as well.